Springfield Board of Selectmen's meeting for Tuesday, March 15th. Ask everyone to please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. I will entertain a motion to approve the payroll warrant for March 15th, 2016. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? Oops. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Entertain a motion to acknowledge the Merrick Public Library Board of Trustee minutes for 2 22 16. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Announcements The Historical Commission is seeking members to serve on their board. It's a good opportunity for residents interested in the town's heritage and preserving its rich history. Those wishing to serve should send a letter of interest to selectmen at brookfieldma.us or simply call our office at 508-867-2930, extension 10. Lovely Karen will answer your call and forward it to the proper place. Mr. Wallenin, District 8 to Senator Ann Gobi will be holding office hours at the Brookfield Town Hall, this <coughs> building, from 2 to 3 p.m. Wednesday, March 16th. That would be tomorrow. All are welcome. Any other announcements? Yep, I have one, Steve. Uh, that on April the 10th, Sunday afternoon at noontime at the Brookfield Congregational Church, there will be an organizational meeting of the different churches, where, including the Catholics, by the way, <laughs> where we're going to be talking about the first uh, church service that was hold, held on Bo Foster Hill and the anniversary coming up on October okay. the 17th. And that's Sunday? Sunday, um, April 10th, 10, uh, at noontime, right after our coffee hour, but noontime at the Brookfield Congregational Church, North Brookfield, West Brookfield, uh, Brookfield Congrega uh, Unitarian Congregational will be part of it. We'll be reaching out to the historical societies and okay. commissions as well to make sure that they're aware of okay. what we're trying to do. So, thank you. Thank you. Could you maybe do up something small for me and maybe I, I could get that in our church bulletin? I would definitely do that. Yeah, I'll if you want to do I'll it. I'll pop you an email. Yeah, sure. okay, yep. thank you. You have to wake up one time though. <laughs> I will mess you up yet? Oh, we're fine. You're fine? Yeah, we're good. Any uh, other announcements? Hearing none, anybody wish to address the board this evening? Hearing none, on to the agenda. Quick meeting. Item number one, 16 East Main Street Driveway. Um, Mr. Chafee and Mr. Holcraft, if you could join us at the table, please. Yeah. And I have You some... don't want to join us? <clears throat> I'm good. Well, it's kind of hard, so I do have some documents that I would like to review, and I, I, I only have two copies because I'd like to have these gentlemen review these documents together. Oh. Uh, unless David wants me to do something like this. Okay? So this is for us to... For the two of us to do? Yeah, exactly. well, you, is this get, one yeah. Herb, come on over, just so that you can kind of see what's going on. So the first picture, I'll put it up here to the, to the screen so that the screen can see, is a picture of 16 East Main Street. And David, yes, it looks beautiful. All right, no question. Where are my answers you stay? Uh, well, we're, we're going to film through them in a oh, second. Are you standing? What, okay. Yeah. So what we have is we have 16 uh, East Main Street, and David moved a the house there. And David, it does, if, that, if you hadn't heard it before, you hear it up here on camera, that it looked beautiful on the morning of March. 9th and March 11th. So that's the, that's the first part. That the, the second document you'd be familiar with, both you and Mr. Chafee, that on October the 30th, a letter was received by you or prov provided by you by the highway department that your driveway was accepted for uh, and approved for Tara. Yeah. All right? <clears throat> that sometime earlier this spring, uh, a broom was created in the driveway to direct water. This is a picture of the driveway as, it's, as it stood on the morning of March 11th, where you can see that that broom was directing water flow partway up your driveway. And what we talked about... Uh, that was put there. Yes, I, yeah, I, I, I want to be clear. That driveway, that was put there. Okay. What, what was approved and accepted here was changed after that approval. Yeah. Your driveway was accepted to be tarred right. on October the 27th or yeah. 30th yeah. by correspondence. Right. Right? And so this is, however, the condition of your driveway today. No, I spread it back out. Okay. Well, so be it. The highway put that there. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Nice. We're being very clear. Yeah. 
The next page is a diagram that Mr. Holcap provided a week ago on the, mm -hmm. on the 8th, where you proposed yeah. a swale in this area and that we agreed that the town would in fact correct the driveway. That it would, that this would I be I split that out for now. And we'll talk more about that yeah. in a second, but that was, a, that, was an that was an agreement between this board and yourself uh, on, on March the 8th. Sounds about right. Okay. In the next document, what we have is we have a hillside, and again, this is the document. We have a hillside that uh, uh, slopes down. There was a frog pond pl placed there by probably the uh, Meanses at some point, up behind the uh, houses to the to yeah, and Wilson's house. Yes, behind the Wilson's house, the, there was a frog pond created. With the way they left the frog pond, what it will happen in high water events, it will drain down along the stone wall. And that's the, the reality is you, as you put, putting the house there, you became the, the, the uh, cork in the, in the stopper as far as where that water was to be flowing. So the difficulty of the sketch that you provided, David, was that you've got some, you've got a limited site situation where you've got water running along the so stone wall, and yeah, what happens, and I'll, I'll point it out here, yes. What happens is, is there's a blue flag, there's a blue flag, yeah. and what that denotes is where the water main goes through, and that's where your shutoff is. And so what happens is you get limited as to what you can do. You, you, you can't compromise the bank, unfortunately. You can't go over there, it's over there. Exactly. So Close to it. The, other, the other piece of this and part of the struggle is that you've got a culvert opening some 14 feet yeah. from the edge of the driveway. Right. So when Herb and I went up there to talk about what solutions would be, the conversation of the swale, Five, the idea of the swale that you had was a little bit further so to the east or to the right of what I use the word practical, right, yeah. but what could Well, be. I want to keep it close to the driveway. Okay, so I wasn't sure where the shutoff was until I went up there. Yeah, so again, it's clear where the shutoff is right. now, how not to compromise it. So given that, what Herb's suggestion was, and you've heard it before, so, and we've talked about it, yeah. but the idea was, well, you have the culvert opening here, yeah. the idea, if, if, if at all possible, to have your culvert op uh, opening here, to kind of minimize the amount of swale that you would have to have. So the idea would be to, instead of the opening being here, the opening being here. No, I don't think that's good at all. Now you're going to tear the whole driveway. Right? No, no, no. no. What, what? no. I mean, if the highway wants to do it, that's fine with me. But I had this approved, and now, now, now it's a whole different picture again now. Well, Dave, what, what he's saying is... I know what he's saying. He should take the pipe out, is what he's saying. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not at all. What he's saying is to... What's going on is the water is coming right down the driveway. Right, and and that's why I suggested the swale. But th it's this good. is this this it's still good. is it's this still is a swale, but the swale is farther down, basically opening the culvert a little bit more, because you can't put that swale over by that water main shut off. Yeah. Right, so you want to run down so the stone wall and come yeah, down so into the driveway. Or, come into well, it has nothing to do with the driveway. It's it's over the edge here. Of the driveway. Yeah, so the same. Yeah. If you want to go to the next page, I actually yeah. demonstrated that. So okay. what? What the, what the first thought was is to move the opening this five feet. It is from this point to the a perpendicular line along that driveway is 14 feet. I'm not asking you to move your opening 14 feet. What, I'm, what we're suggesting to you is that that opening be moved five to seven feet from its current area. The idea would be to pick up more of the hillside as you have the swale. Again, that's the, the recommendation. Mm -hmm. So, Same thing I suggested. Oh, the only the only difference between your sketch and this sketch is I'm starting at a point after the stone wall. Well, I started up here where the water comes out. Yeah. Well, and you want to come down here? Oh, over here. We're talking the same thing. Yeah. What what I'm I don't want to draw a picture. I'm on the diagram because it's a good diagram. What I'm thinking, David, is that well, but jump yeah, just up. Just like you got it. You got it coming down. On yes. This. That's what I want to do. And, and, and but I got to take take some of these rocks out so it goes in there easy. That's correct. So if and I'm gonna dig down a little bit, not yes. too much, but 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 if you can do that, is that possible that you can do that? Well, what about the, where the pipe is? The pipe's gonna stay there. 
We, oh, yeah, yeah, the pipe's going to stay there. It has to stay there. You're basically just making a bigger ditch yeah. for the water to come into. Right. It's, it's not altering anything. It's just digging more. When we went down there and met, where he approved it, he was more focused on, on, the, the, other side. on the other side. Right. But what's happening is through actual events, he's noticing it's coming on the other side, so that has to be bigger. Yeah, what you, what you had, David, in your early diagram, is you had the pipe opening here. The pipe opening. Yeah, that's just a rough scale. Right, right. Rough that's totally understood. And so right. what I did is I made sure I understood where the opening was. Yeah. Yeah, and, the opening is, what I put and the opening is just to, to this scale, right. just a little further up. What we're suggesting is that if we start at an apex here at the, yeah. at the driveway, as you have it, Right, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 You and I agree here. here. Yeah. No problem here. No. And I'm saying that's just you want to start to create your square here. Oh. Oh. That's you want to start right here. Yeah. Well, then end it. At the stone wall, you you want to be coming coming away from the stone wall. It's okay. Pitching it's towards the pipe. Yeah. Right. I just have to make sure I understand this one. It breaks away from the stone wall. Did you want to write on these? No, I, I grew up. It breaks away from the stone wall. That's why I want to come down and fall yes. straight down. Yeah, and, and right. again, you're doing this. It just I just moved your pipe over here. Right, it's where not it should exactly be. Right. there. The, the opening is 14 feet. I'm suggesting that you that you move this thing back five feet, five of the 14, to, to again, catch. Yeah, we want to, we want to angle it down. That's yes. what you're saying. Right? Yes. Okay. That's what we're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. That's that's what, that's a yeah. rough sketch that I gave you. Right yes, there. it's yeah. right there. Well, we've scratched them. Right. All right. Okay. So, can but I don't want to go down too deep either. No, 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 no. I just but, want to swale it and put some gravel or something in there, stones or something. And will you do that? Yeah. All right. So, given that the David will put a swale there, we'll move to. Well, my desire is that Dave understands exactly what's being requested. Mm -hmm. I don't. Right. I don't. I don't think it's. A big thing to ask for. I think the history of the water coming off there, it needs to be done. And it, to me, it's just taking your design and just bringing it down closer to the road. Well, that's what I was going to do. Yep. I just gave you a rough sketch that night so you have something. Yeah. And, and, I, and I went out and took some pictures right, and I understood right, right. where the dimensions were. Right. So I'm a little smarter than I was at that conversation. So given that, that, that we, if David does that, what Herb's agreed to, smile Herb. What you've agreed to is if you put your swale there, right, and again, it's starting at the stone, and, and again, we just talked about where this is just going to be a picture, yeah. that Herb would come in with a machine and flatten that back to the acceptable, and I put quotes around that, position that it was in on October 27th. Is that, is that a meaningful? Well, if he puts it back to, you know, it's suitable for the driveway and for what he wants, I'll be happy. All right. I already smoothed it up with my plow truck. We understand that. So I could get up there. Yes. So, given that, the other thing that Herb will do is that at the bottom of the driveway, one of the other detriments is that the other end of your culvert's over here. On the left. Yep. This is the left side of the driveway. We're a little further down. Left side of the driveway, there's a pile of stones over the top of the culvert. Right. And what Herb will do when he finishes smoothing that and is it. an angle in it. We're going to get rid of this. So that the water is going to come down. That's fine. All right. My contractor put it there. He thought it'd be a little better, you know. And, and the only th thing that I have from the time that I was looking at the water flow is that what will ha what happens, unfortunately, because of these stones, it's driving some of the water off to the street. Yeah. Well, it was, we had it swale down to come from top. Yeah. You're not going to get it all. Well, but we're going to make an yeah. attempt to to. That's fine. That that's fine. So, what that's fine. Screw with me. Now, how do you want that swale, though? I want to make sure because I'm not going to do this Oops. ten times like one, I did the drive time. One time, you're going. to, We've asked, and if you agree, to move the opening five feet from its current opening. Or okay. So what's that mean? What's that mean? What's that mean? I think you dig down here, right over the top of that culvert, and and make an opening in the top of that culvert. In the area that it is, is in today, and the and the dimension is about five feet. And, and the reason I'm suggesting it is to get put an opening in the top of the pipe. Yep. That's okay with that, Herb. Doing that. I prefer not the opening in the top of the pipe. I prefer the pipe move 
be brought back where it belongs, so the swale and the water goes into the pipe. So it's cut. It's cut. Yeah. So it's flush. So it's flush. So now that's what I'm saying. That's what I just asked you five minutes ago. You talked about removing the pipe, a portion of the pipe. I'm not talking about the whole pipe. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the confusion. A portion. I'm asking that a portion be done. And to to the earlier point, the idea is that you may be able to leave it where it is. As long as you can get this water flow to go to into the there. ditch, because the water doesn't run uphill, right? No. So that was the point. And so if, by moving it back, you can get it to go downhill as you want it to do off that side of the driveway. Because if the swale sticks to the driveway and the end of the pipes up here, well, we'd have to come down feet, an angle. It's well, let me get your no, 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 I'm not saying to go straight. I'm talking about coming on a gradual flow. Yeah, again, but, to to your like you're, like you're doing here. Yes. And, and again, to Herb's point is this is a, a slight uphill. And so what you want to do is as you make your swale, yeah, you don't want that. the water running uphill. I understand that. All right. So that was the idea of moving this thing back a few feet. And again, as you're de doing your swale, if you do that, you, you're going to get a feel for w where that wants to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. I only want to do this once. So I mean, if he wants to work with me and, and, and do something, maybe bring a back on up to help remove some of the stones, and then I'll get in here and I'll cut the thing with the saws off, the pipe out. I mean, we could do that too. Okay. And that would minimize What's your time? tearing the whole thing up and, you know, keep everyone happy. I mean, I'm willing to do that. Okay. If he, if he wants to, you know, help out a little bit. That's up to you. That's up to you guys. <clears throat> what, what, where I was headed was if, if you work this way, Herb would walk the, work the driveway as he agreed. <clears throat> yeah, so it's suitable to, to what he To wants. both. To both parties. Right. Herb, what do you think? I don't have a problem with that. I'm biting my tongue. How's that? Okay. Why is that? I'm willing to work with you. You've got to work with me. You're trying to solve, we're trying to solve a problem they, together. We, the highway department issued a driveway cut for you. Mm -hmm. You need to put the driveway cut in according to what we asked you to do. It's not up to the town to come up and correct your problems with what you put in your driveway cut. You need to take and do it correct. And it shouldn't be the town's responsibility to do that for you. Okay, now, That's what I'm you. Okay. At. now I'm gonna give you my side. I had you up there, I had a contract to do the driveway. You were up there three times. You told me to remove the rocks, do this, do that. I did what you said, you were happy with it. And then Steve came up and you said, I want this, this, and this done on the left side. So I did that. Then you came back again with Steve, the three of us, and you said, that's good, that's what I want. And then you sent the letter we do. saying that it's all set for paving. Now, that you want me to change it again. So if we want to change it, we got to work together. Hey, so hey, I'm asking you to work with me if that's if you're not the, happy. The now. driveway commit that you agree to, okay, calls for one length of pipe in that driveway cross. What is, Herb, what does N12 mean? Oh. It's the that's grade the, of the pipe. The length of the one length of pipe is 20 feet long. And, and again, this is the this is a copy of the permit. And that's what, what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, and what, what so we uh, had we, we put a 40 foot pipe in there instead of a 20 foot because we're coming off that hill onto mm -hmm. that road, and it's for safety reasons. No. It has a nice nice mm -hmm. area coming out. Right. And let me finish. Yep. Yeah, all right. I had you. I had you and the selectman up there to go over this, and it got approved, and everybody was happy. Now we want to change the whole process again. Yeah, it says one length. I put forty feet in. Okay. So yeah, it it's forty. It's forty feet it's wide at the that's mouth right. only. But that's, you, that's where it is. Forty feet from here to yeah. the other end is forty feet. Right from the pipe. The pipe sticks out beyond the driveway. Okay. The reason that you had to put forty feet in is in order to get the house over that location. That's the reason that you did. You agreed verbally with me that you would take and put one length of pipe in and remove the second one. No, so. the pipes the pipes were never put in until after the house was in place. We never had that discussion. The pipes were not put in until after the house was up there. Then I came then I came for a formal permit after the, I asked you what type of pipe you wanted to mm -hmm. need. And then I put the pipes in after. Because so, so we had to remember when they didn't have anything done, we didn't have the pipes in, it got all icy there. 
Remember to build up with ice, you're going to come up with the back hole. All right, we're, we're going down. We're just going down the he said, she said. It's not going to resolve anything. Trying, no, we're trying to rectify this I, rationally but with some common sense. No, 100%. And but I'm the, trying to work with him, but, and I'm asking him to work with me. But the pipe's in. The pipe's the, in, the and des, everybody the, was happy with the it. Desi- now you want me to do the thing over again. And the desire, the fourth time. And the desire is what... I want to say punk, but that's disrespectful. Yep. Mr. Mm-hmm. Snyder is recommending. I'm making a suggestion. Okay. Only, only that that uh, the idea was is to, to take the swale as you had suggested. Mm-hmm. And now I've lost I've lost the swale, guys. Was, oh yeah. All right. Here we are. I, well, I, well, that's that's clear. That's understandable. Yeah. The point we're discussing is if he wants to work with me on the end with the rocks. Yes. And I don't get in here with the saws on. I'll cut the pipe. What, and it, and it, what, what Dave's asking for, Clarence, is that Herb goes down with a backhoe and digs what needs to be dug. Oh, and, and I, I'm thinking... I'm asking for some cooperation. You've seen that I had done but, this and it was approved. And now you're undoing it. Dave, yeah. it has not been approved. It was all set for paving. That is correct. And you even said that at a department head meeting, which should not even been it, brought up at a department head meeting. So now, I, try, now you're not happy with it. So now I'm trying to work it, with you to do it again. For the fourth it's time. not up to the town to take and do your job, Dave. I'm My sorry. job was done and the town approved it. You approved it. I the selectmen were there. So, so we're a little smarter today than we were then. Right. You know, so what are you going to do every time so, somebody does something? Oh, we don't like that. Take it back now. So, so you what, just don't, that's not the way it works. So, so mm-hmm. let's, let's, let's leave it this way. <clears throat> Suggestion. I'm asking for a little cooperation <clears throat> from the town now that the town's not happy. Okay, now you're going to work with me to make it so you're happy. So exactly. So the next we'll, person down the line is going to want the this same is, thing. This is a, no. So this is a so unique. So no, no. This is a different situation. No, no. no. It, okay, I, Herb. I, Herb I just, I'm just trying to be very. So, so what? I we, understand where you're coming straight from. Straight ahead. So what we have in the future mm-hmm. is a new curb cut set of rules, where there is now a bond that it has to be placed in, in place mm-hmm. so that we won't have a, a... Has that been approved by a town meeting yet? That's, that's been approved by attorney generals this time around. <clears throat> Mike Siri has sent that off and it's been approved and sent back. But doesn't it, didn't we have an issue that it wasn't it, approved at a town it meeting? It was already approved at town meeting. And Mike, Mike gets all that paperwork. Mike never it. sent it in? Mike did send it in. But that's, that's why it. there was a lag between... Because there was a lag between a town meeting vote or something, wasn't there? Yeah, from years ago, right. Mike found the paperwork and sent it in. Right. And get it all squared away with so we're center. good now. So, yes, we have. Okay. so what we have now is teeth that we have, would have had a bond. So whether approved, accepted, whatever these the language we want to use, this would have taken the, care of. This would have taken care of it exactly. So we're not dealing with a future situation. We're now dealing with res- resolving David's situation. And I think that the I think that the point and what I would recommend then is to leave the leave the pipe exactly where it is. And to create this whale as you've talked about creating, and again, the only difference between your earlier sketch and what I'm, what we've just now sc- scratched here, is that you'd be starting the other end of the swale at the end of the stone wall because we know that this water does want to trace along the stone wall. Yeah, I'm going to start the swale up here where it comes yeah. out. Yeah, you're going to start here. So it's you're going to end it here, and then you're going to taper it. Right. So, somewhere between five to seven feet in the other direction right. to the east. And so, so it picks up. Right. So sh- should there be an issue with it in the future, that, then that would be the only thing, is that you need to get make sure that that water is in fact flowing into the culvert. Well, yeah, if we make the swell, it's all downhill. Right. So I think that... I just got to make think the swell to sort of directs down into the ditch. So... The, I mean, that's pretty... Yeah. So what, 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 what's being suggested is that as you agreed on March the 8th to create the swell, Right. And we've described a further description of that. Closer idea. to the driver. Closer to the driver. That's what I want. That you will do that. Right. And what, what I'm suggesting is the highway superintendent will do is he will pick up from the edge of your swing down to the other end of the culvert. And that's what Herb's going to pick up. Do we agree? Those stones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the stones we po- you pointed out to me. Well, you want to remove them so the so it's tapered going into the ditch. Yeah, exactly. At the, at the other end of I both sides. That's, both that's sides. another thing I've had asked. You were there. I've asked those stones to be removed numerous times. I thought he did, no? We did, and you, you They're higher than the road. On the opposite end. Down yeah. the low end of the drive. Yeah. That, so, I've asked to have those removed. So, but, but, but what we've agreed here. I'm, I'm just tired of 
keep going back and forth on this one driveway. Well, we, that's why Steve was there. And the third time, fourth time, whatever, you came up there. He was there. You said everything was fine. I removed stones and rocks, and I did this, I angled so, it. So it you were fine with it. Now you're not fine with it. It didn't, it has not worked with the rain that we've had. It has washed out part of your driveway. It washed it out into the roadway. You need to do something different, Dave. Yep, and, and again. And I'm just, I don't know what to do, and I don't think it's my, the town's responsibility to go up there to correct. But, the but as we talked earlier, you're, you're not going to correct the driveway. No, he's going to correct the ditch, which is on the town property. You had a problem on Green Street, water coming out of the house up on Green Street. Did you go over there and do something in front of someone's house? Yeah, on town property. Yeah, well, this this is all town property, too. It's a new driveway, Dave. This it's a, I understand that, but you work. said you don't do things for people. Up on Green Street, that house, that water's been coming out of there for years. So, so, Why, guys, so is it their yes. fault? But you you, you, up, you went up there. Person. You went up there. And you I'm going through Clarence. Clarence has picked Clarence, up the ball. Where, I'm sorry. Sorry. Where, where I'm headed is, guys, okay. I'm, I'm dealing with 16 East Main right now. Okay, but fair is fair. I mean, I, well, well, he made a statement that he doesn't do things for people. As a town employee, as a town okay. Fair board fair. member, okay. yes. What, okay. what, what Herb has agreed to is that when, with the work of the swale being complete, he'll, he'll, he'll pick up from he'll the, pick up the, the back edge of the ditch back to the, to, to the edge so of the swale. So what is good for him? The, I would say edge of the swale, and I want you to shake your head in the right direction. Edge of which swale? The, the eastern side or right hand the side. The long side of the high, high side of the driveway, yeah. you're going to pick up at his swale. Clarence, can I make a recommendation? Yep. I see Dave having a different interpretation of what you're having. Yep. Can, mm -hmm. can the, do you feel the same? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, well can, what's that? Can, can, can the three of you meet in the near future well, and, and point to exactly what needs to happen? Yep. That sounds yeah, good to that's me. a good idea. Because oh, I don't, oh. it's not going to get resolved with pictures. Okay. It would be I, nice I, if we had another eye there too. Yeah. Well, then we'll have a, we'd have to have a meeting. I, I trust Clarence. You, do you trust Clarence, Dave? To, yeah. Right. I mean, you were up there, and he, he said everything was fine. He well, said, you're not <coughs> It is, but I'm okay. So, but you understand that water, don't, don't water. You understand that water from your property is coming onto the road, and we have to deal with it. Everybody's water was. Coming I know, off. I know, but property. water goes yeah. downhill, not up. But, and we, but have, we want to remedy this situation. And we I have changed the driveway three times to accommodate what he wanted done, and I did it, and I kept doing it. And he finally said, "Okay, now, now it's now we're going to change the whole thing again." Well, I don't think it changed in the driveway. I think it just, in my opinion, interpretation well, you're changing, of this. You're changing the end of the pipe. You're just, so I'm willing, but you're, I'm, still you're just, to, I'm still willing to work. You're with making it making her, a different swill. And her. So if, can you if guys? He wants to work with me to get this resolved. So can That's you? All that matters can you three make resolved. make a date right now? To, I'm looking forward to it. Can I you just, make a date I mean, right now? I'm, I'm all for it. I mean, I have. So had what a date works for you, gentlemen? What's good for you guys? I'm pretty flexible. I mean. Tell me, tell me something, and then I'll tell you. Later this week? Do something. What's today? Today's Tuesday? Thursday? Yeah. Thursday morning, 10 o'clock? Unless you're doing trees. That's fine. Yeah, unless he's doing that. Yeah, it'll be raining, probably. That'll be good. That would be good. Thursday's there we go. Supposed to rain. Oh, we're going to get rid of it by then? All right, so thir Thursday, 10 o'clock. Thursday, 10 a.m. All right. Good. It's now, better with the three of you going to have any and special it. specifications on how we're going to do the swale? No, that's you. Okay. You, you I, signed up. You signed up to that. Yeah, but I was oh, it's too small. It's not deep enough. It's this. You got to have special rocks. The so, rocks aren't the right size. The, See where I'm going? I don't want to hear the, that because this what, is what happened with the driveway. Here's, here's the here's the line, David. So yeah. we're going to pick a point here, and we're, we're going to start the swale here. over here. You, you're and doing that, down. Okay. and then the other side of the swale is here. Yes. The mound wants to be here. Right. And we will we will work that. The, the, I think the only objection that we have at this point is the location of the culvert opening because yes. we it can't be too well, far. That's, right. that's, well, that, that's something Herb can work on. That, that, what he wants to do at the end. I, I would recommend bringing a can of spray paint. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mark a paint. Yep. And just mark out exactly what needs that to be done. Be, yeah. What he wants to do at the end is, is okay with me. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to have your contractor do this work for you? I don't know. 
Because I was just going to. That's big to do. Well, that's why the, only thing, the only thing I was just going to suggest, Dave, if you were going to have your contractor come up and do it, maybe you could get him to come down too for that meeting at 10 yeah. o'clock. I don't know if he, I don't know if I'm going to do it or he's going to well, do it. Well, it's just a suggestion. Yeah. This is yeah. a lot of work. But I had him do the driveway, mm -hmm. and the guy knows what he's doing, and then and then Herb was not happy with it, and I changed it, and then he wanted to change it again. I'm not going to go there now. Well, that's why and I want. I'm still willing to work with the town, but I'm not going to go through this bunch of, you know, hooey. I want to do it. All right, so Thursday, 10 a.m., and I, I agree that's a very good idea with well, Linda. If, come up there, then we can. Yeah. if you're going to have someone do it, have Fine. them come with you yeah, so they have that's a... That's a good idea. Can I highly make a recommendation on that swill so we don't have issues? That's what I'm asking for. It should be a paved swill so it stays there and it don't wash. Oh, and, uh, well, we're talking about, we're, we're talking about stone so <coughs> It's not like it's a high water flushing out. It just trickles down, you know? No, well, that water does not trickle down. Well, it's yeah. a little more. That's why I wash the driveway out in a matter of an hour or two. It's, it's not, it's, it's, it's a little more than trickles, so but it doesn't come down with a, it's not a roaring thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you've got a spe special circumstance that you, none of right. the parties were party to from years ago, mm -hmm. and right. we now have to deal with it. And yeah. we'll do the best we can. Okay. And, and again, and I'm willing to do that. But like I said, I'm not going to do this four times. No, and we're not asking you to do it four times. And again, the well, only this is at the end of the driveway. He had me do it four times. Let's fix it. Get it done. Thursday, 10 a.m. Thursday, 10 a.m. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Thank you Dave. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. Item number two, appointments. I will entertain a motion to appoint Bethany, Bethany Roberts, she's saying I need glasses, to the CDBG Advisory Committee with a term expiring June 30th, 2016. Do we have a motion? I'll grant that motion. And I'll, do, I'll second it. Do I have any discussion? Nope. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Clarence needs to sign that. Tonight. He's here tonight, right? Yeah. Okay. Probably get him to sign that right away. All right. Um, item number three, awarding of the town report printing contract. Uh, four estimates were acquired um, between $1,005.10 to $1,437.46. The lowest bid was Country Press. And I will entertain a motion to award said bid to Country Press for $1,005.10. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? No. Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Item number four, Mr. Snyder has uh, finally put something in our emails that are, uh, that are, uh, it's good news. Good news. Absolutely good news. So I will, make, good news. I will let him make the announcement for item so, number four. So what we, have, uh, what we have before us is a letter from the Mass uh, Historical Commission. Uh, what would award, be an award for 17500 to match uh, like funds from the town for a survey of uh, what we've known to be the campground, such that uh, after July 1st, uh, hopefully we'll have a contractor in place if we agree that we would uh, accept this money, um, such that we would understand what is truly at the campground and that we will end years of hearsay as to what is or isn't, mm -hmm. and we can then uh, make steps to, to move as, forward. As we'll Herb's saying, I'm biting my tongue in regards to hearsay, so yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty well documented, but it's anyways. Documented. That, that's good we've got it. it no, it's, it, it, it's, it's excellent. We've worked very hard yeah. for this. Clarence has put a lot of time and energy into this uh, specific grant, so I thank you. And I, I thank you also. You've put a lot of work in it. Yeah, well, and I guess I, I would turn to the highway department and say, suggest that the highway department and citizens and everybody have, have made this job a lot easier by the work that they've done to make there's, this place look like it is. There's too many people to thank. It's, exactly. it's unbelievable. Yep. You know, I walked, my husband and I walked down there, I told you a couple of weeks ago, and what a difference from in the summer when we were down yep. there. The whole place, is, it looks so nice, it's been cleaned up. So what we do... Now you can find the gate to get out of there because you couldn't before because it was so overground, grown right. down there. We do have the issue as we yeah. move to town meeting as to mm -hmm. additional cleanup monies that will be required to reduce the yeah. what is it two buildings herb two left three yeah I think three. It's three down there I right saw. 
But but again, it puts us on a path, and just sure. it, we, while we get the camera going and we'll talk about it in a minute, what we're getting is uh, a grant that allows us to understand what's there. What what the next piece to this will be is an actual planning grant. And again, uh, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission was here earlier in the week. Mm -hmm. There was some discussion as to whether they had resources to help us or not with this thing. They actually have a preservationist, a planner, preservation yeah. planner on their staff. Yeah, yeah. And this gal would be someone who, if you move into the next phase of planning, what you may or may not be able to do, that planner is the kind of resource that you'd be looking so to. So did I misinterpret yeah. that email? I thought that individual was going to be able to potentially help us with a survey. No, they're, they're, they're a, uh, what did the I say? Piece, the next piece. Uh, she, they're she's a preservation involved. planner. So she can go into the second part because he said they would like to be involved with it. Right. So what you do is you'd move into a planning phase mm -hmm. where you'd actually plan what you're going to do. And then there would be a third phase and monies of, again, matching money is available to the town where you would actually go and it would be bricks, I'll call it bricks and mortar, but what it would be to take the existing facilities that are there possibly and reconstruct them into a visitor center. If you move the past down a path of a learning center or whatever, you could actually get money. Well, that's that's way down the road. Way first. down the road. Down the road. <laughs> but, but again, those are the kinds of places yeah. where these different people so we've, can help we've, us. We've been working hard as a town for this for years and yep. I, I commend everybody. Yeah. Just one more step. So. Taking this as, as uh, uh, pro town property and the like and, and going down that path, there was also a suggestion at our, at our last meeting with respect to um, the, uh, the auction that was going to be held and there was a discussion as to one property to be added to the list of eight. The suggestion from the person organizing that auction is that that would not be uh, an appropriate... You're talking about the Finney property? Yes. Okay. That that would not be the appropriate thing to uh, right. to do just because it would muddle up the paperwork later. No, so, okay. All right. So that's an answer on that. But yes, good news. Thank you. Uh, item number five, other. The only other that I have is um, I had given you guys before the meeting the plans for the um, town hall. Yep. If you guys can review these this week, I'd mm -hmm. like to set a meeting right now. Okay. Is Go this forward. Friday morning okay with you? This Friday. To a walk to do a walkthrough after you've digested. You gonna have a slug in Friday morning? Well just to go over the plans for the the town hall. All the time. Probably eight AM. 8 a.m. Well, no. How about 9? 9 a.m.? <laughs> We're a little older, you know. Yeah, we you get know. out of bed a little later. <laughs> <laughs> or others of us don't get out of the barn a little later. The only reason I'm asking is we're supposed to be opening up those bids on Friday morning at 9. That is uh, for the truck. So they can accept it the same day. Well, that's why I was wondering if you could look at it. Are you opening Is it posted to open at the highway barn or here? I think it's the highway barn. But then just run right up. We'll yeah, probably we'll a good half hour. Afterwards. All right, so 9 a.m. then? 9, yeah, 9 is good. So, Karen, can you put that on the agenda as well? So we're going to do a walkthrough <coughs> here. We'll walk through. Uh, it's going to be posted in the selectman's office for opening the meeting, and then we'll do a potential walkthrough. I did a walkthrough with uh, Tantasqua um, instructor yesterday going over the ADA for um, the money that was allocated in the grant. Um, he's going to work on thresholds, a plan for thresholds. Okay. We walked the bathroom, and we also looked at the uh, door as well. So just, and what we can do is talk more about this on Friday for yeah. sure. But well, there, I just wanted to advise you that I yeah, had that, so, that we're getting closer. Yeah, the one thing that I want to make sure now that I've kind of gotten a better feel on handicap access and elevators and all of that stuff, I want to make sure that we are careful in that we have a project that is this big, and it includes an elevator, and that there are pieces that the town may choose as early phases of a project that's, so that we yep. can maximize yep. the Bill, grant Bill monies. Simpson and I, that's we from the building municipal facilities planning committee, that's kind of where we were talking. Exactly. We were supposed to possibly get two, but it was very early in that committee that we realized we were only going to get one or the other, and then it was going to be several years before the town went for the other. Yep. But if yep. we can phase it in. If we can phase it. Yep. And that's Tantas. I gave him a copy of these plans as well. So okay. I think the only way to do this is with Tantasco's help. Yeah, and I just want to maximize. We, we need to communicate that this is a big project. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's going to take a whole yeah. bunch of money, but we can do it in phases such yeah. that when we go after that one grant. That and I, I might almost make a, an argument that we have a line item that we allocate $20,000 each year. After, you know, yes, it adds I think, up, we, it adds up I think we should, too. After yep. 10 years, you yep. have 200000 in it. Yep. Yep. Good plan. 
And, right, so. And if we talk a little bit, you know, more like with the bathroom facilities here. Well, that's Mr. kind of primarily, yeah. primarily well, the discussion. Well, uh, Mr. Wall, I guess, is willing to meet with us. Can you he, invite he, him to? If he's he our plumbing inspector. In? Mr. Wall is willing to meet no, he's with good us. Guy. Yeah. Good guy. And he said he's willing to help too with this. Well, I, I did speak with him when we converted, when we brought the uh, existing bathroom, we tied it in. Yeah. Um, I need to ask him what the code is for this. Yes. For, okay. for toilets. This this is excessive. I was out in um, in Taunton this weekend, and a huge facility literally had like two two bathroom stalls. You turn around, lock the door. And that's a commercial building, so. That's what can get approved. But that's the so idea, we can't yeah. lose lose the, the thought that we want to get the second floor done as well. So well, This building is good. We've and we, we don't want bathrooms to. upstairs, yada, yada. Well, there's no real practical place well, to put well, them. Well, practically, yeah. Because we just eliminated the whole drain for yeah. what's going, the stack pipe that's going up there now. Yep. So we're good with Friday morning, 9 a.m.? Yep. Okay. Any other other? I got some paperwork here from uh, uh, Lenard Engineering on the last report there that we got to get into dam safety. For sawmill? Yeah, for sawmill. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, I need us like to get a signature from you guys. Or okay, take a look at it real quick. So it's an approval of a report? Yes. yes. And it we looks great. You've, uh, you've seen it? I've spent a couple of minutes at the highway garage lately. Uh, mm -hmm. And in spending a couple of minutes, that's one of the things I've looked at. And I think it's excellent. So this is just a compliance letter, them stating it was completed successfully? Yep. Okay. Some so, great, great pictures, it looks great. So this is gonna be submitted. So I'll entertain a motion to, do we have to sign this, sir? It so, would be nice if you could, yeah. when I said you really didn't have to. But we so should. I'll entertain a motion to accept and sign. I'll make that motion. And I'll second it. Mm -hmm. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Herb right here at the end? Yes. What's today's date? Today, oh, 14. 14. Oh, three, one, oh, four. No. No, it's a 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. 15. St. Patrick's Day. Day. Today's St. Patrick's Day? No, 17. 17. 17. 17. Thursday. Okay, I'm living under a rock. Okay. There you go. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Cindy, for us as well. Any other other? Yeah, before he walks out the door, I've spent some time down at the highway garage uh, on the tree thing. And we had the, the original 99. Herb was able last week to get a couple of days in, uh, starting up lo on Long Hill. Not so, not as far as he wanted to go, but it, but started. And Did you see Bill's email? Yes. Of and, pruning and, versus removal. Mm -hmm. What pruning some trees versus removal of some trees? Actually, some adding of pruning is okay. the way. Okay. I thought so, the way that yeah. I read it, there was some trees were to be pruned instead of removed. So, uh, so where we are is that we had this list of 99. Herb started down the road, and that's where we are today. With now Bill's note, we've added my opinion, and again, Cindy was going to cross-check to make sure that I was correct, that that actually adds additional work beyond the 99, which is fine. I mean, that's We're on the road, yeah. yeah. Right, that's, but, but it's work that we have to do and we'll get to. But just like last week, Herb got a couple of days in. You might get a day in or two yeah. this year. Yeah. But, but we just got to keep poking away at it, and, and what... What uh, Cindy did is reply to the email earlier today. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's happened is some of these tags that were nailed on have disappeared, which doesn't make his job any easier. So what we've asked Bill to do is come back through with another marking mechanism such that because it's going to take a while to get 99 trees if it took two days to get five. So it's going to be a while. So they have to be accurately marked or suitably marked such that the, the markings can stay there so we can get to them. So I thought I saw in the email that he would do a ride around with you, a drive by? Yeah. Well, drive by, yeah, but a ride around. He hasn't talked to me since that meeting, so. Yeah. But the email that I saw said that he would drive around, and, and just grab a can of marker paint and go to town. Well, and again, we're asking him to go marker paint and go around, but. Well, wouldn't it be better if he has a time to get in a truck with somebody and. Well, I'll go, so I'll go with him if we have well, to. Well, you're not the one that's going to be cutting them. Herb's going to be right, cutting them. Right, but again, Donnie I. Or, well, it's, it's just, it's, it's more, he's marked some trees, and it's just to take, rather than the, the ribbons, because the ribbons fall off, to, to go ahead and take And believe mark. it or not, some homeowners do pull ribbons oh, off. Exactly, yeah. so let's make it permanent. It, it, we got to deal with it. There was a tree that he did have marks on one of the roads, and 
I looked at it and I questioned to cut the tree down or whatever. And the homeowners come out and question it and everything else. We couldn't find anything wrong with the tree. I mean, you physically couldn't Was find that it. part of the hearing? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So anyway. And I, I told the homeowners, I'm refusing to cut it down because I don't see any problem with the tree. There's no rot, there's no cracks, there's nothing to the tree. That's except for it leans a little bit toward the road. That's maybe where a drive around yeah. with them might help. Yeah. Well, for, for now, it's like, let's keep working down yeah. Long Hill. <laughs> I mean, 99 to go. But the recommendation was there to oh, yeah. tag yeah. along. And yeah, yeah. And, and, and again, as he has time and Herb has time. Yeah, we're going to do the best part of the summer take, trying to take trees down because I'm going to end up losing the tree guy for the summer. So, you yeah. know, we should, be, should have been cutting trees all over long. Do yeah. what we got to do. Exactly. You know, we got so many pads of trees, dead trees in the town. And I happened to drive past one today out on Rice Corner Road that I missed, and it's a big maple right in front of somebody's front yard that's completely dead. I missed it. I don't know how the heck I missed it, but the wind took and uh, peeled off all the bark, finally, on a lot of it. That's, that's how you missed it. Yeah. So, changing subjects. Weber Road starts when? I'm supposed to be starting it next week. Okay. okay. All right. Now, and then kind of by myself on that one there while the other guys are cutting trees for me. Okay. Um, and so then the, uh, what was the other thing? We've got, uh, pardon me, senior moment. There was one, oh, truck. There, there was an email to, to Karen earlier today from the highway department related. I, I did not do well several weeks ago when we were talking about trucks and which truck did what. and. And we'll ha we need to have a conversation about uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, stump grinder and uh, truck yeah. reconfiguration. Yeah, I saw the two. I read the two emails. Yeah. So. Well, I just want to remember that we did allocate money, Chapter 90 money for what was it the um, catch basin yeah. truck. So if we have to rescind, yeah. if we have to rescind the motion, just make sure Cindy. Well, Bruce and I have been looking at the uh, the truck that we're trying to replace. Mm -hmm for the plow sand truck and we're pretty fair how's that that we can possibly fix that enough to make it use it as a catch basin mm -hmm. truck but we have to buy the crane for it the crane and the cleaner right. and that's chat that could and possibly we can get that through chapter 90 money we've already been approved for 30 of that and i just got to confirm that if, that if we can just use that the same amount of money but the catch basin cleaner itself is $62,210, I think it is. Just a cleaner and boom itself. Very expensive. But a good use of the truck because of its age and where it sits. Yeah, because it's all it's going to be used for is cleaning catch basins. So, you know, I, anyway, I so don't know what to do. You know, it's going to cost $10,000 a year to clean basins. You know, at least at ten thousand dollars a year in six years' time, you're going to pay for that that cleaning. Do they have any used trucks that the catch basin we've been still works? We've been having a guy looking for them, and a few and far in between. But you know what I'm saying? Just scrap the truck and grab the base, the catch basin part that, of it. That's what's mainly junk on most of them is the cleaner because the towns don't maintain them and the cities don't maintain them. If they run them to the totally junk, they they are junk. Matter of fact. There's a town that's close by here. They're getting a new one, and as soon as that truck gets traded in, all they're doing is taking a torch to it and cutting it up because it's that bad. Mm -hmm. The town shouldn't even be using it right now. That's how bad it is. Right. We got to start cleaning our catch basins, so we got to do what we got to do. This I thought was a uh, good there's alternative. Over five, there's over 500 catch basins in the town. And it's something we have not allotted in the last couple of years. Well, we thought we had an agreement with East Brookfield. Totally, yeah. totally. And that's gone thing. completely yep. forever. They haven't held up there in three years, so. Have we made another phone call this spring? I'm not even, I'm not going to waste my time with it right at the moment. It's not worthwhile because they still haven't got a catch basin card, so what's the sense of Oh, they don't even have it. I thought they, they had one. Yeah, they don't have Just one. Southern and out. Who, what's that? How's East Brookfield cleaning theirs? They're not. <coughs> so anyway, I just thought we'd take a minute with Herb just because we've been busy talking a lot of subjects. Okay. All right, and if we need any paperwork for Friday, you can bring that too. 
All right, like I said, once the bid's open and everything else, I'll bring the bids up after we go over them and stuff, you know, and uh, we'll make a recommendation which one it is. Mm -hmm. we'll go from there. All right, excellent. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Thank you, sir. Thanks, sir. Anything else? No. I got a question. Yes, sir. What's going on with the reservoir? Mm -hmm. What reservoir? Are selling the reservoir or are we not selling it? The North Brookfield property? Yeah. We were just on the phone with a gentleman yesterday, and he's supposed to come in with the it's deposit. He, he has signed the PNS. We just need the deposit. Is he going to buy it? Is he going to go through with it? He said yesterday he was. So that's good timing that we actually talked to him yesterday. Right. That's great. That's good. But it is what it is. It's, it's, uh, li it's life. You never know. Yeah. Well, when we do have an alternative, if that were to go south. Which I'm about to start pursuing if... Let me know. It's getting a little bit too dragged out. Yep. But that's why I asked it was getting dragged out. Oh, it, it is dragged out. Not getting it is. But there's there's good faith there, there's still communication, so it's been working out of town and difficult. But at least it's a signature, so that's good faith. They put your money down on it? No, that's what we're trying to get them in to come in. Because oh. there is in is the that a legal thing when you do a PNS with no money? The PNS required a dollar amount, and he didn't supply that when he signed it. He did. He did not didn't. supply that's it. What I'm asking, so that's not, that's why we're trying to get him in to put the deposit down. Okay. Any other items? No. Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn at six fifty-two. I'll make that motion. And I'll second it. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Cool.